for your viewing pleasure today we're going to give you a rundown of Eric's truck this is the 356 overland truck give them a follow on Instagram they have awesome family adventures some scripture reference and beautiful pictures on their Instagram and they've got an awesome truck they take cross country and we just got done with a few items on it. So here a while back, uh, Eric brought the truck over. We sat down, made a build plan, and here's what you have. We have a 2018 Crew Max Tundra Platinum with the 5.7 engine. We put some Method 17 inch wheels on it with a 35 1250 Ridge Grappler tire. Um, I forgot the exact model number. I think it might be a 701, but this is the wheel that has the uh, ribs on the rim, so it helps lock the tire bead on. And then up in here, front suspension consists of uh, SPC Control arms up top. We've got the caster rolled back real good for him. And then we've got Dobinson's HD shocks and springs. This one also has a differential drop. Factory gearing so far on this, on this truck. Uh, this current phase, we did a C4 fab front bumper and he's got the Baja Designs 30 inch single row light bar that has the amber backlighting uh, worn Xeon 12S winch with the Factor 55 flat link E the fog lights are Baja Designs uh, this the new SAE fog light in amber Underneath the bumper, we've got a set of RCI aluminum skids. So this is the full skid system from RCI. Uh, comes raw and it's quarter inch thick aluminum. Of course, this one has the, the add-on bar and this is a black powder coat uh, that's been primed and powder coated. We added an ARB snorkel so he can get in some deep water if he wants. Also on this truck is a set of C4 Fab uh, sliders. These have also been primed and powder coated and they are frame mounted. They're a bolt-on unit and you can see right here they come in two pieces with a bolt-on, uh, bolt-together joint, um, really, I, I wouldn't, that that joint wouldn't phase me as far as integrity. These things have a million bolts holding them on, so. But uh, he opted for the, the step plate. That way, you can get in the, get in the truck a little bit better. Truck has a good stance. The tires stick out just enough to be flush with those fender flares. Oh, and we did have to trim the trim the fender flare for fitment of this snorkel. That snorkel kind of fits up tight against this, and we cut it as best as could. And old Jason here, he messed up and cut this a little too far in the front. Uh, but I think it'll be all right. Um, it's not the best looking cut in the world, but uh, step back a few feet, you don't hardly even notice or care about it. It's also that. got the Dobinson's shocks in the rear. And then he's got the HD spring pack kit. So this is for 600 pounds plus constant heavy load, which you can see this truck's got that load on it.
So back when we put the lift kit on, um, I think that was back in May, he took it within a few days of us completing the lift and tires and wheels, drove it out west and got the AT uh, camp, camper top on it. He's got all the inside fitted out. We'll go through that here in just a moment. Let's look on the inside of the truck. Lots of just normal stuff. Uh, got the Rago Fab up here. Uh, got mounts for the Garmin. The, I think that's an inReach, maybe a RAM mount for a phone. Um, he's got his Midland radio. And then we mounted the Switch Pro down here. Um, so the only thing we've got right now is the uh, front light bar. And then he's going to finish up adding other accessories to it. So he's got a set of blanks right here, some blank stickers, if you can see those right here, uh, to cover up those white sections so the backlighting won't be too bright until he adds his accessories. But uh, we also added this uh, Hypertech speedometer calibrator. So that's located back behind the dash and his tire size has been calibrated uh, so his speedometer is accurate. All right, here we're under the hood of Eric's Tundra. Uh, you can see he's got uh, got some dirt and dust up in here. He's been hitting some trails out west, uh, Grand Canyon, a bunch of Forest Service roads and trails and doing a bunch of camping. Um, Overland Power Solutions has also been working on this vehicle. So um, what has done here, they added the X2 Power AGM battery. And then you can see right here, there is their feed for the rear uh, power system and the DC to DC charging system. And over here on this side is where we mounted the Switch Pro. So there's not a whole lot of places to mount these, but uh, on this particular truck, this hood strut uh, right here comes down and lays right over top of that when the hood's closed. So uh, that seemed like the most logical place and you can still grab this cover and pull that fuse panel cover out of the way but he only has like I say one switch of eight currently hooked up and um, I'm sure he'll add some more accessories lights etc really a super clean truck Here's another shot of the skid system. So it goes all the way back here to the transfer case and transmission, front differential, and then up under the front bumper. Here's a shot of the underside of those C4 sliders. As you can see, they've got uh, several several bolts holding them on all the way front to rear and also uh, it wraps under the frame um, we'll pan over here to the other side and let you see that all right so here is the from the middle of the truck looking underneath looking to the outside you can see how those sliders wrap under the frame and capture the frame and I think there's about 12 to 14 bolts holding these things on front to rear. And we have the camper unfolded. Check this thing out. So, uh, Eric, what, what size beds are in the back of this thing? Like, uh, like what, what does that, how kind of sleeping arrangement is that up there? So this, it's a five and a half foot bed truck. Um, but the way it works is we open, we flip this open and there's almost a queen size bed right here. That's the main sleeping area. This uh, overhang actually holds 600 pounds. So it's no problem for my wife and myself. And on the inside, we've got two removable platforms that we pull down for the kids to sleep on. So four grown adults can sleep in here just fine. So you climb up in it and then you fold that like an accordion style platform up or fold it down and then you have a mattress that lays in there? That's right. Um, okay. We usually use sleeping pads on it. Um, 
This one's an accordion style. There's another one that's laying up there now. It's just a solid board um, carpeted that works well as well. And it looks like he's got several drawers here for storage. What, what's over here? What do you have on this side? looks like a... So uh, this is our fridge and stove setup. What, what size is that refrigerator there? Uh, it's a 50-quart fridge from ARB. Okay. Um, it's on a slide-out from AC Overland. And, you know, this one slides out the whole unit. And then another one to slide out the cook partner stove. So who does the cooking, you or the wife? Uh, well, it's actually or the kids mixed right now. Both of us do a little bit of it. The I wife bet the, really likes I, it. the boys probably cook hot dogs and s'mores, don't they? Oh, if it's on a campfire. Right. I hear you. <laughs> well, what what is the name of this camper top? What is what is this called? It's called the uh, Habitat by AT Overland. So AT Overland Habitat, and where are they based out of? Uh, Prescott, Arizona. So we did the lift and tires and wheels back in May. And I think two days later, you drove to Arizona, didn't you? That's right, yeah. How did the truck do on that first trip? Oh, it was awesome. Nice and smooth. Excellent. And then uh, has the the load of the rear springs, is it holding up good for the what you've added to it? It is, definitely. I really it raised it a little bit, and I didn't notice any squat at all once it was... Um, well, we're going we're gonna to climb up in here. Is it all right if I step on yep. this pad? We're going to check out this truck on the interior. So... Hey, is that a toilet? It is. Oh, he's got a toilet. My goodness, no tree, no tree hugging here. We've got, oh, look at this. Where's the air conditioner? Uh, we've got a fan, but we rough it. All right. So this is awesome. So here's that door or that, uh, the platform that folds down for the mattress for the kids. And then it's got some, is this a tent pretty weather resistant? It is. It okay. Is. It's made by Nemo. So the, the tent is Nemo? Mm hmm Okay. And I guess they partner with the AT folks? That's right. Okay. And really cool. And then we've got some other this storage in here, a fan and some other items that he needs. Now I saw a bunch of outlets so we've got 12 volt outlets usbs here usbs here how is this working this so so you've got a regular old truck and i think you uh talked with overland power solutions what what do you have what kind of system do you have in this truck so uh what we have is we have a, a red arc uh, manager 30. Uh, this is the controller okay and it manages the battery system we have a 100 amp hour lithium battery that really is the, the workhorse for all the power. Now is that the Battleborn? It is the Battleborn, yes. Okay, where is it stored? Uh, it is actually in this compartment, in the cabinets okay. here. I can slide this out, we can take a look. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, so he's got a safety hub 150. And this is the, what was this called? The load manager 30? The Red Arc. Um, Power Manager 30. Power Manager, Manager 30. 30. And he's got a, a Victron inverter here. What size inverter is that? Uh, it's the 800. 800 watts. So that'll... So it powers my laptop primarily when we're on the road. So um, he's got basically a large gauge, what I think is a six gauge wire coming from the front to the rear. And that's this big cable here with a... A circuit breaker up front and then he also has a circuit breaker back here that protects the safety hub and then all his accessories and usbs run off of that safety hub mm -hmm. and i guess you that's a shunt right there for do you have a is that up front to where you can monitor that or is that just back uh, here it's for this monitor okay yeah, yeah. so there's the there's the shunt for the red arc power manager and he says that's monitored back here with that controller and the Manager 30 is really great because it does uh, allows me to have shore power as well as uh, solar power, and it, it manages all that power wave, takes whichever is the primary, of course the alternator as well. Um, so if the power gets low on our starter battery, it'll make sure that's fully charged and, and ready to go. It's got a nice little flip-out window here. And this window is pretty cool in that uh, you have a, a shade here. Okay. Select the material. 
and then you can pull up for a screen. Oh, nice. Screen. Now, is that did that come in there, or did you add that? That was uh, is it an option? Part of the habitat. So it's just a one of those little check boxes you yeah. added. Okay. Well, let's climb out of here, and we'll take a look around a little bit more underneath the truck. So let's look here on the underside. Looks like this is all aluminum, and that's this is the roof when it's folded over the other way. Right. And it looks like it has a tie-down system here for other things. Uses maybe aircraft aluminum L track. Maybe kayaks or soft goods or something like that. Maybe. Do y'all ever haul anything with uh, you on these trips? We haven't yet, but we will plan to. Canoes and kayaks and so forth. And this is actually a layer of aluminum with a layer of honeycomb panel and then another layer of aluminum. Now that honeycomb, is it a fiberglass or a resin or is it also aluminum or? It is, you a, know? I think it's fiberglass based. Okay. Uh, it's strong, lightweight, and gives the insulation properties. And then here's his, uh, power port for his shore power and i guess this two prong is a solar that's right okay what type of solar unit do you have is it just a flip out uh unit or uh yeah it's um it's actually folded up because in here it stores nice nicely away um, okay so yeah solar bug out yeah, bug out 130. So that's his solar unit that he plugs into the outside of the camper over here. Do you do you know what type of uh, current, like like, what what does that thing charge? Uh, this is 130 amp hour. Okay. So and then the manager 30 controls it, and I can lay it out on the windshield on the ground, and it's just it doesn't have to have another separate converter. Cool. And then I see a hose over here on this side. So he's got a nice little fold of plastic table stored in here and then a, looks like a water hose. Is there a container somewhere or? There is actually under the back compartment, there is a 16 gallon water tank. Okay. And is there a pump for that? Yeah, there is indeed. Okay. So it's all pressurized. Just pull the hose out, put the pump on. Turn the water on and you've got pressurized water. Awesome. So you can hose the boys off when they're too muddy to get in the camper, huh? That's right. Well, this is definitely a cool rig. He's got some max tracks, I believe, here on the side. Uh, four of those. And we just got signed on with max tracks. So if you guys need some boards, we're going to have 10 sets in here in the next week. All kinds of different colors. But give Eric and his family a follow. It is at 356 Overland on Instagram, Facebook. Do you have a YouTube channel? No. He's going to have a YouTube channel. He will soon. I bet you. <laughs> because everybody's going to be asking about this truck and want to follow these adventures. So that'll give her something to do. <laughs> make, make, make her take some video of you going through the, the water to use that snorkel. Well, Eric, thanks for stopping in. We're going to let you close this thing back up and head on back to, I guess, is it Maryville? That's right. So he's going to head back to Maryville and uh, follow 356 Overland for some awesome off-road adventures, some scripture, some scenery. 